Hi there, my name is Evelyn Weiss. This is my paid school community. And in this video, I show you how to launch a paid school community using ads. This is a four step process. And the first step is that you need to set up your school conversion tracking to capture all organic traffic early from the platform. So when you go to school, you can see that school has a discovery page. And from here, people can find you and it actually gives you quite a bit of traffic towards your community right from the get go. And you would want to make sure that this traffic is captured and your pixel and data set can start to learn. So you would want to set this up as a first step. I have a free YouTube video showing you exactly how to do it. This is this one here. And yeah, make sure that you got this out of the way. Next, you would want to build up an audience for your launch. In my case, I recommend that you uh, build up an email list and I love to use Facebook lead generation campaigns with a strategic freebie to do that. Let me quickly show you how. Okay, so first, this is the campaign objective that we're optimizing for leads. And then we're going for instant forms. Those are the ones that pop up on Facebook. You can directly enter your email and then you need to connect it with either Make, Sapier, or Pebbly to your email marketing tool, which, you know, is Active Campaign or MailerLite or whatever you're using, right? So that the people who opt for your strategic freebie on Facebook, their email address gets directly added to your email autoresponder. You tag them or add them to a group that triggers a delivery automation. They get the email with the strategic strategic freebie that they opted in for. And now you can send them nurture emails, right? So I quickly want to show you an example. My Facebook ads library here. Um, so this is, these are currently my ads. These are audience growth ads where I'm growing my email list. And these are all ads that go directly to my paid school community. And as you can see here, I'm giving away a lounge ads cheat sheet. And uh, when people click on this, a form pops up, they enter their email and they get directly to my email marketing tool. So now that people are getting on your list, what do you do to warm them up and nurture? So what you would want to do next is ideally you start six, four, three, lowest amount of time is two weeks before your launch to do that. You can start with a $10 per day budget and it will already help you to gain some momentum. The target cost per lead is definitely below $1.50. I see many, especially in the B2C niche, getting significantly lower cost per lead for that, right? So you'd want to make sure that you're um, not overpaying here. And with already $10 a day, you can build up quite a bit of form audience. And if you have the right strategic freebie, you're also getting the right type of people in. Let me just quickly show you how you can create a great strategic freebie. So when you come to your about page, you can take the copy from your about page that you, of course, have to write. Um, and again, a way to find ideas is to just look for communities similar to yours and see what they have written here. Um, and, you know, obviously don't copy anyone, but you can use it as inspiration if you are unsure about what to write there. Now, next you would want to come to your favorite AI and say, this is my paid school community. Help me find the right strategic freebie that is broad enough to appeal to a real wide audience while still filtering my ideal client come up with ideas for checklist cheat sheet template planner journal worksheet please give me 25 distinct ideas okay and then you can see it will come up with ideas and then you would want to create your freebie based on that ultimate content repurposing uh, checklist, Facebook ad copy cheat sheet. That would be, for example, a great one. 30 day list building challenge planner. That would be a good one. Just 30 day list building um, challenge would be cool. Email sequence template for course creators would be great. Community engagement ideas would be great. So many, many, many of those would be a great strategic freebie for me. You just need to create one, mock it up. You can mock it up, print it out, or you can create a walkthrough. All of those are really great viable options for the creative. Okay. So now you have your strategic freebie, you have your ad set up. It's a lead generation with the instant form. It's integrated with your email marketing tool. Now you need to nurture those leads. And how do you do that? 
as you're building out the first version of your community and you would really want to make this kind of minimum viable, you're filling up your classroom with start here, uh, some first content and goodies that people can go through. And as you're building this out, you're documenting your journey. My favorite way to document your journey is to just at the end of working, you record a loom based on like, this is what I did today to move with this community further. And then you can go to Loom and you can basically head from edit to transcript, copy, and then uh, use this prompt here, nurture email prompt and say, I want to write a highly valuable, insightful nurture email for my newsletter subscribers. Please use my tone of voice and turn this brain dump into an email, uh, including key takeaways and action steps and the moral of the email subtly positioned at the end. Okay, and then you will come Again, to your favorite AI, mine is Claude, and you paste your transcript and you paste this prompt and you get a first solid version of a nurture email that, of course, you still would want to tweak a little bit, but it will give you a really, really <laughs> great starting point. Just one second. It won't let me copy this. Let me copy this, please. And ideally, during those weeks leading up towards your community launch, you would want to email your list once a day to really, really warm them up so that you have a somewhat warm audience to launch your campaign to. So you can see it is um, finding uh, the, the copy and writing the email. Okay, and then you have a first version. You want to work off of that. Whenever you're sending something to real humans that invest their time reading, you would want to be mindful that it's actually adding value. So go in and edit and make changes. But with this method, you have a really solid base and it should make it sustainable for you and achievable that you send one email per day. Now that you got this down, what's the next step? So you have your freebie right now, your email list is growing, you're sending them emails every day, you work on your community. Now you have a first version of your community that you can launch, right? So next you would want to write an email sequence. I like to do it five days with free reminders on the last day inviting people to your community, see what you've built so far, join you early as a founding members rate, build it further with you at the point where, will they, where they have the most attention from you because you really want to make this work, right? And then you send that email to your list and you'll get the first signups. I would on top of that do everything that I can to get more purchase data. I would also post on my socials and I would also reach out to people that might be a really good fit just to get those first purchases collected because it will really kickstart your pixel and um, data set on Facebook. So Facebook will get an idea from every purchase that is happening that is now collected because you set it up. Facebook will have data and it will have a much easier time finding your buyer when you now, because the community is ready, are in a place that you run ads directly to your about page using a sales campaign. This one here, where on the ad set level, you're optimizing for the purchase event, right? So different campaign objective, different optimization event. We're now going for purchases. And here you can see some of my best purchaser ads. Um, so I have these quiz style ads. I have lifestyle images here right now. I'm having a notification because I'm actually putting my um, group on wait list because it gets a lot and I still want to be able to serve well. So I'm capping my membership actually um, also because I'm at the moment building out a mastermind. And um, then I also have ad, uh, ads that advertise different aspects of my community. This is a, just a walkthrough of my community. It performs really well. This is a retargeting ad. So hi, nice to see you again. You were so close. This is an ad that just gives value. Basically it educates while also providing proof. Uh, this is another lifestyle kind of image. Yeah. And so basically these are the type of ads that I'm running directly to my paid community with the sales event optimizing for purchase. And you know, the more traffic you can drive from your email list from this from these efforts and of course anything else you can do organically the more data you collect the quicker sales campaigns optimizing for purchase will work for you and this is how you launch a paid school community using ads